All right, here we are at BB Lawn and Equipment. Holder. Genuine Kawasaki engine oil, steel products. And we're here today at BB Lawn and Equipment, BB Arkansas Highway 64. Easy to find right off the road, can't miss them. And they are big dog mowers and they are Hustler Turf XL Industries originally. Now they are Stanley Black and Decker. Great products. And we have here Mr. Josh Duke. How you doing, Josh? All pretty good. Good. Glad to see you today. And we're going to do a little project here. But before we do that, uh, let's do a walkthrough and show people what you have. What do we have right here? We've got a Raptor X54. It's going to be close to the, the beginning models. Uh, it's running a 21 Kawasaki 54 inch deck. Three year warranty. Hydro gear transmissions. It's uh, a good. Got the new upgrade model. seats, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've got the armrest on the seats. I believe it's a two gallon fuel tank on this. Three year warranty. It is a three full year warranty. What all does the warranty include? Is it? Basically anything that that's the mower's fault. You know, if you run over a rock or stick or you know, paint does not doesn't cover things that are normal wear and tear like belts, belts tires. And tires okay. So pretty much it's bumper to bumper if you'd like. Yes. So if something happens that is uh, wear and tear, that's not really covered. It's more of a factory defect that should right. be brought back to you. Yes. Okay. And the factory course reimburses you, so you want to make sure you take care of your customer, correct? Yes. All right. Very good. Appreciate that, Josh. And uh, this one is one of the one of the uh, bottom end. No, that's the wrong terminology. Let me put it this way. Beginner. This model. is a beginner model, a residential mower. Yes, sir. They make two models below this would be the Dash and the Dash XD. And those really are for really small. Three quarters of an acre. Right. You know, right. Uh, the Dash model is running a 10 horse Briggs. The Dash XD is, is going to be the next step up. It's got a Kawasaki engine on it. It's, it's still so they've it. got an XD out now. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Now. The average size deck that you sell on that dash, what would be the width of that one? 42s and 48s probably. Okay. So small 48 inch gates in the backyards, you're good. Yeah. And they do make a 36 or did. They make a 34. 34. So if you got a 36 inch gate, you should be able to slide right, right there. Right, right. Okay. And they also make the Surfer Pro in a 34, which is the uh, beginner walk behind that yeah. they're coming out with yeah. this year. Okay. Now, over here, you have another Raptor X, but yes. this one says XD. The XD is, is uh, the next step up from the X. Uh, it's got a taller back seat. Uh, you got the larger rear tires, larger front tires, heavier deck spindles. Uh, oh, yeah. Now, now, let me go over here for a second, and you'll show them what you're talking about. You this see. is the five-inch tire, right? Yes. And this over here is the big dog tire. I mean, that's the six and a half. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's just like taller. on your hyperdrive, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then your, your rear tire is going to be a 20 inch versus an 18. That's on the Raptor X. Okay. And you've got a heavier deck spindle on the uh, XD. Okay. You've got a heavier reinforcement bar across the front. Yeah. Uh, Matter of fact, it only has it right on the wear areas on this right. one. Mm -hmm. But this one is like all the. Yeah, it's like on all the commercials. It has it all the way across the front and side. So on your Raptor X, your, your pin goes wherever, the deck stays wherever your pin is. Okay. This one here kind of operates the same way, but you have a deck lock. Oh, okay. Like, the, like, the, like the commercial models. Yeah. yeah. It's and a nice setup. The, you've got the armrest seat, taller back seat. You have the... ZT 2800s, I believe, on this model has the spin-on filters, serviceable transmission mm -hmm. foams. And both of these do have hour gauges, I noticed. Yes, sir. So that's really an upgrade to most of the mowers out there in this line. <coughs> Excuse me. This one also has a, a three-year, 300-hour warranty on Okay. And then you have an XDX, I noticed, over there. What's that extra X all about? The XDX is basically the XD. Hey, Change the transmissions from a 2800 to a 3100. Okay. Uh, it's just a little bit heavier, heavier uh, 
axle heavier gear mesh. Uh, the deck lift adjustment's the same as the XD. The XDX has the cast iron deck yeah. arm similar to the X1. Yeah, in that's the hyperdrive. that's like your X1 Super Duties or Super Zs and hyperdrive. Yes, yeah. yes. And basically, the deck that's on the XDX is the fast track deck. It has the fast track spindles, the fast track blades. Everything's pretty much the same. It's just the hangers are in a little bit different position for okay. this model. So you're basically getting an XD, kind of in between a fast track and an XDX. And again, we have a seat over here. It's another upgrade, looks like. Yes, it's a, it's a little bit taller. It's a two-piece seat, so you've got a base and a, and a back. And it's a, it's a pretty comfy seat. And all of them now have a lot better fuel filler set up on them as yes. well. And they all now come with the engine guard. The engine guard comes standard, uh, depending on the deck size, depending on the horsepower. But okay. They're all running Kawasaki engines Great. on the XDs and the XDXs. And I noticed that they also now have these deck bumpers. I like those deck bumpers. Yeah, so that that's that was come out on the fast track originally, and then right. they started putting it on the XDs. Right. Uh, also. And for all you guys that's watched the Max's Garage Mahal videos, you know that we did this installation about four or five years ago on the old Raptor XD. Another thing, if you don't mind me pointing out, these are now all tubular welded steel frames. Is that correct? Right. It's a two by three fully welded frame. And they no longer have any bolt together stuff. This is the this is the real deal yes, commercial sir. grade frames. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Excellent. The floor plan on the X. D and the XDX is bolted in, so you can take this one bolt out and this so center that floor plan is lifted out. Mm -hmm. That's great. All right, so you got a couple more models here, then we'll get to our. Uh, by the way, I noticed that you do have the big dog as I brought out a while ago, mm -hmm. and so you are fully vested in the XL okay. turf line. So it doesn't matter where they bought their mower, if it's under warranty, even if it's not and it needs service, we still work. Great, that's excellent. All yeah, right, we've been a uh, we've been hustler uh, since 2002, the fall of 2002. And I may point out, if you don't mind, that you have actually serviced my old mower a time or two, so I appreciate that. <laughs> and uh, now this one is a 2022 fast track. 2022 fast track, 48 inch. They went to the twin tanks. Okay. Back similar. Went to back what? to the twin tank. Yes, sir. They Great. used to have a. Uh, they used to have the twin tanks on the older fast tracks. They went with a, uh, when they came out with the, I think it was 18 or 16, I can't remember. They went with a five gallon tank that was mounted under the seat. Now they've got the two saddle tanks and it has the mechanical fuel gauge instead of the electronic. Analog fuel gauge. If this goes wrong, the world is upside down. I can tell you right now. That's, now they still incorporate the rollover protection system they didn't and change anything. Basically, they didn't change anything on the deck. Uh, the pumps are the same. Uh, they changed the seat colors depending on the year. Mm -hmm. uh, they they added a USB port system to charge they, phone. And they stuff. they did add my yellow uh, yeah. stitching <laughs> in the seats. Twenty twenty one, they went to the Kawasaki FT engine, which is a it's a nice upgrade compared to the it FR is. engine. It and and the, for anyone that doesn't know what this is, you're, I know you're going to explain it, but everyone needs to look at this. This really is a nice upgrade, and I'll let you continue, Josh. It, it, it has a lot better air filter system. Uh, it's similar to the Donaldson system with the Cyclone. Mm -hmm. It's going to spin this, the dirt. The heavier particles are going to come out the duck bill, and it, it's just a lo longer life uh, air filter system. And... It has the access holes on both sides of the T, right? So yeah. that you can go in here and Blow as the air is being blown, right? It, you can keep those fins around that jug and that head clean. All right. So these things, pretty much, <clears throat> they've just added some stuff. They didn't really change anything. They just brought it up to date. Yes, sir. Great. Okay. Now you have an X1, which is let's see, do you have a Fast Track uh, X or XD out here? Nah, nah, I've just got the Fast Track. Okay. And the I know you've been selling on mowers pretty quickly. It's, so. been, it's been horrible. <coughs> okay, so let's, let's show them this X1 real quickly. I'll wait for you. Thank you, sir. All right. Now, 
ladies and gentlemen, I have borrowed this and put parts on it, so I apologize to Josh for using it as a work table. But we're about to install a Pedal Pro Max here on this mower. And uh, this is the big 72 inch X1. This is some serious stuff right here, am I yes, correct? Sir. Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to let you take it away. It's, uh, this is pretty much, you know, top of the, you know, it's not completely top of the line. you still got the Super Z, then you've got the Super Z Hyperdrive. But for any serious homeowner or serious commercial guy, this is, you know, a good good fit for them. Uh, it's running the FX850 EFI engine, which is a 29 and a half. So it's not going to stall. Right. It, it, you put it in it, it just go. Okay. All right. And, um. Let's see. It's got the cast iron lift bell cranks. Yep. Yeah, got all that. Yep. And it's got now these these lift bolts here. Those look like they're five eighths lift bolts. Yeah, and people, you know, when they they originally had the chain system right. for years and years, and people were worried about the lift bolts. But the X1, this this uh, production style X1, with that deck lift setup, has been out for five years. And, I've yet to replace one, and it's really simple because you've got four points of, of adjustment. You can really get that deck dialed in easy. And another thing that does, dialing it easy is an understatement because you no longer have that one inch rod with that 750 pound <laughs> spring on both sides that you need. Right. And uh, another thing too, and I've noticed the tie downs now are standard on these things so that you get it in the trailer. Right. Throw the hook on there, tighten that booger down, it's going to stay put. And you, you said the spring, they took the spring off the side, but there's still springs underneath. underneath right. Here. And right. you've got two that come standard, and you can add a third one, say, if you're running a bagger, or if you have somebody that doesn't have a, a real strong leg or knee, you mm -hmm. know, they can. And we're fixing to take care of that as well. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, again, on this deck, ladies and gentlemen, there's one bolt. This is just for shipping. You remove that bolt, from, and from that point on, it makes this serviceable for your belts and your slider and your springs. And great, great setup. And again, this has got the uh, this has got the humongous 850 EFI. So uh, that EFI engine has been out. Uh, Kawasaki had some initial problems out of the EFI engine about six, seven years ago, and uh, they've since alleviated those issues and. and uh, we started selling these in March, February of last year, and I've, I've not had to do any anything to those units. Just run them. Keep yeah. them maintained. Yeah, so your, your 850 engine is a 29 and a half horse. Your 1,000 engine is going to be a 38 and a half horse. And it, if you go with the carbureted version, you're taking a horsepower and a half less. So it would be a 30, 30, uh, five, well, it'd be a 35 horse on the 1,000 and 27. On the and, and to explain it to people that may not understand, like you and I will, the reason why you lose that horsepower is because they have to richen or fatten the fuel supply for the carbureted. Right, and, and you've got your O2 sensor monitoring it so you can run it leaner without risk of burning the engine up. Very good. And that's important to anybody that's got a maintenance setup or they got a humongous and with a 72 inch deck, you can do some serious damage to cutting the yard, I'll yeah. tell you right now. You can get out there and just mess with it, just play with it. Uh, would you do me a small kindness? Yes, sir. Would you demonstrate this cushy seat you have on here? Let me move the tools out of the way for you. I really don't want you to hurt yourself. And it'd be all my fault. Okay. So all these seats here come standard on the X1 suspension seat. Uh, the Fast Track also has a suspension seat. It's a little bit, it doesn't have quite as so much cushion and stuff. It doesn't still, have the bolsters as heavy. Right. It, it's, it, you can see it over here. It, it's still a still a suspension seat right it's not quite as nice right. as the x1 well and it, it does have the bolsters but like yeah they're not nearly as pronounced <laughs> and you don't and this, right the yeah. bottom cushion's a little bit lower. and this is this has got the support for the inside of your legs right and they call this seat a i3m seat uh it's standard on x1 super z super z hyperdrive 104 all that and it's got a pretty yellow Hustler logo. There you go. So you right. got this knob here. You kind of adjust it for your your weight height. You know, depending on how how much cushion sure. and, and spring you want. Well, that's I, a lot I just kind of used to be. I just kind of set it to where I 
I don't really go by the weight. I just no, I set it either. by feel. And how rough the, the, the you're ground is. Mowing, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Now this, uh, I would like to point this out. The amount of weight these mowers are compared to the fast track. This is uh, 390 pounds heavier. Is that correct? About that, that sounds about right. Pretty close. Right. Yeah. So this material here and here, and especially here where this is taking all the, in case you roll it off of a hillside, this sucker is here to stay. Yeah, yeah. And, and the main thing is, you know, with the roll bar up, you have your seat belt on when you're, when you're right. using the mower. Right. Please. Uh, there's, there's been <laughs> issues where, you know, I mean, this, it's kind of like a car. If you don't have your seat belt on, you're still going to go through the windshield. You know? Right, exactly. They've changed this roll bar system up. It has a rubber ISO mount inside here, so there's not not oh. rattling, you know, like there has yeah. been in some of the other, you know, roll bar designs. They've really quietened them up. And they've insulated the uh, fuel pressure line. Mm -hmm. I do like that. That'll keep that cooler during the hot weather. Yeah. Which get absolutely will help you with your fuel mileage as well as torque output. Colder fuel, denser fuel. Yep. All right, now I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let me stand back here if you don't mind. Stay right there. I'm going to get back here and I'm going to get a little picture of the traffic going by real quickly. And then again, we are at BB Lawn and Power Equipment 501 882 3433. So we appreciate you guys viewing and uh, we're going to stop this. We're going to set up, we're going to install this. Pedal Pro Max here real quickly and we'll come back while we're doing the installation and show you that. So thank you for stopping by. Thank you. Thank you Josh. We appreciate you having us.